Okay, so here we are with the Aguila electric bikes out on a run today with Tim. And what we're going to do is we're going to give you a quick overview of how these electric bikes actually work. So first of all, what you have is a key down here. What you do is just give that a quick turn and then you have some lights come on at the top. And that shows you how much power you've got in the battery. So we've been out for about how far we've been today, Tim? Six, seven miles. So we've been out for seven miles today and we're still on a full charge, which is great. So you've got your Shimano gear set, as you can see there. Currently set in third. And to drop it down, four, five, six, I'll be just pressing that button. And then to take it back down, I'll just press that. Also on this bike, what you have is you have a twist, twist shift. Whoop. <laughs> I'll show you that later. So yeah, a bit of power on there. And you've got your brakes down here. And you can see on this particular bike, what you've got on the back is a conventional setup. And on the front, you've got a cable disc brake, which gives you lots of power to stop. Okay, so what we'll do, all right, yeah, okay, battery in the back. So what we've got here is, on this particular model, is, to show you this, is that that bit which is there, which looks larger than a conventional hub, is actually the engine. So if I quickly show you that, if I turn the throttle now, you'll see that that's power in the front wheel. And then that is the battery. So where you'd expect to see it on a normal electric bike at the top there, it's actually down there. So on this particular model, it's got a really low centre of gravity and you find that it's really, really easy to ride. The other part of this bike is that you can fold it in half. So we'll show you that in a bit. One thing we can show you is that it's quite light. Okay. Not heavy bike. Really easy to lift. Yeah. Not heavy at all. Okay, so let's have a go. So I'm going to get on the bike. I'm going to get the dog. Okay, so we're going to go up a slight incline now, which normally in these conditions would be pretty horrible. But what we're going to do is we're going to basically just turn that slightly. You can see I'm just pushing myself along, not pedalling. And off we go. So turning the throttle, just following Tim up the hill, it's very easy. And you find that this particular model is that front wheel drive pulls, like a front wheel drive car, it actually pulls you up the hill very, very easily and it doesn't move around too much at all. Now the clever thing about this particular electric bike and the other one, which we'll show you in a moment, is that when you start pedalling, so if I take myself off of the, so there's no throttle there, but when I start pedalling, it automatically recognises that I'm pedalling and then it starts to assist me, which is fantastic. Leaves it for about a second or two and then the power turns off, which is fantastic. So if I start pedalling again, hear the engine, and off we go. Very easy to get at the hills. The bike's not in question. Team cycling abilities are. just how easy it is to get up that hill. It's really quite steep. Right. Let's Come on.
I did. I actually made it that, that time. There go. This uh, modulates um, the assistance, the electrical assistance to the pedals when you push. So it just adds power as you pedal. When you stop pedaling, you go into coast mode. When you pick it up, it spools up again. When you will start off though, you can override this by using the manual throttle with the twist grip. But once, you, once the pedal sense that you're pedaling, this ceases to be active and it just cuts in and gives you pedals power. That's the way it works. It's a pedal assisted bike. It will, it will give you a limited range 5k supposedly um, on the throttle alone but that depends on your weight on the terrain on the hills etc essentially it's meant to be pedaled and that's the beauty of it because you get exercise without the uh, duress of uh, of the of the ultimate physical um, effort um, so that means you can go farther for longer and for people like my age it's very enjoyable because I can stay out longer on my bike without totally uh, knackering myself <clears throat> So this is, this is a more conventional frame than the other one, isn't it? Yeah, much more, because it doesn't fold. This is, just a, this is a very, very conventional um, frame. Um, quite low cut, so it's unisex. I mean, it's, a, it's, it's, not, a, it's not a step through bike, but it's not, it's, it's much, it's not as high, it's not a butt gate to step over. And um, the nice thing about this bike is I love the way that it's got, you know, with the front forks that uh, have damped, the damp front forks, which gives you, uh, which gives you, you know, much more controllability over to rough terrain. And this is great on the road too. It's a, it's a hybrid. It can be used off-road. Off it's fantastic off-road for such good fun in the mud. Because the, the tyres aren't actually, they're cross-terrain tyres, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So not too right. wide, so no, nice no. and easy to pedal on. Yeah, nice and easy, very easy. You've got your lights already fitted. Yeah, you've got lights. The lights work off the, the lights work off the, um, the lights work off the battery. The, yeah. the rear light, though, is a reflector. Yeah. So you, you would need a rear light, proper rear light. If you get your home that, but you would need a rear light. So the good thing about this being more conventional is that you know a lot of people don't even know it's assisted. Well, you know, I don't think assisted having a power assisted bike is a stigma. I think it's uh, it's very sensible. They're really good bits of kit. I mean, you can, you go much farther, and you can take people that don't like or have formerly didn't like cycling with you because. Uh, it's so enjoyable. People that wouldn't normally cycle get more exercise. <laughs> yeah. So um, no, it's just a. But it's the lithium iron batteries that have made them so um, um, accessible and, and so usable. The old lead acid batteries would add an enormous weight to the bike, so it really yeah. wasn't. Um, they were too heavy. Again, it's, this particular bike, just like the last one we showed you, is running the Shimano six set gears. Six set. And they're so easy to use because when you come up to the top, when you're powering along, if you're just going quick and you want to go quicker, all you do is just press that button. Yeah, sequential six shift, fast shift. But the, 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 the great thing about these bikes, they don't need 21 gears because even when you're pedaling them, if you, when you're pedaling them normally without power assistance, which is very easy, you just use the first three, first four gears, very, very easy to use. And uh, and um, but when with the electric on, you've got so much torque, you don't need 21 gears. And 21 gears would add weight. Multiple gear sets would add weight. So yeah. it's, uh, six, it's six speed, six speeds on an electric bike is adequate. Again, I'm, I'm lifting this up. Yes, they're all right. They're not, they're not the lightest of bikes, but they're they're certainly not heavy. But the thing when you've got the power assistance, it doesn't really matter because you wouldn't notice it. No, no. And they absolutely fly along. The way they get you at hills is fantastic. They're Taurus. Really, an electric hybrid tour of all terrain, which is, uh, as you just, uh, as I've just demonstrated, excuse my riding skills, is um, <laughs> you know really good. <laughs> so, what colours have we got this in, Tim? Um, uh, this one comes in red, I believe, grey, and orange. And this one comes in blue, grey, and red. So blue, or blue, silver, and red. Blue, silver, and red on that one. Yeah, and uh, this one, I think red, silver, and orange. Bright orange, I love it. I love the orange colour. Fantastic. Do you want to show us how it folds in half? Yeah, can do. Um, first of all, um, you have to um, unplug the this is a, unplug the motor. Um, you just lift this clip, pull this back, and basically then it should. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, I'm folding the wrong way. Um, fold right, right, right the way around. It's a bit muddy, so to fit in your boot. And the cross is right over. You put that. You can actually alter the handlebars if you wanted to, but yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Let go like that. Yeah. And it fits in a, generally fit in a boot quite easily. Yeah, any normal car. Yeah, yeah, really. That would yeah. fit straight any, in, any, wouldn't it? Any medium to them, yeah. So we keep back together again, obviously. Bear with me. <laughs> <It's muddy. laughs> Let's do the uh, connection on oh, the front. Yeah, yeah. Power that, and that'll just. Away you go. Yep. Fantastic. So, how long does it take to charge the battery? Um, well, we've been charging them. It says six in the manual, but we've been charging them with four or five, you know. So, um, I'd say six hours max. And do you need to run it right down before you charge it, or can you charge no, it? No, you can charge it. Um, we've been charging them. If we're out on a day like this, I generally put it on charge when I get home. It's just a simple... It takes about a second to plug it in. It just plugs in. This particular one just plugs in there. Look. Okay, so that's the charging unit? Yeah. Well, this is the it, this is the way you plug the charging. This is No, this is not the charger. It's got a charger, just like a more ordinary yeah, yeah. phone. But it guess where it plugs, it plugs in into. Yeah, yeah, it plugs in there. Yeah. And on the bike, it plugs into the... Uh, on this one... Um, the good one about the good thing about this one, the blue, the uh, different feature on this one, the non-folding bike, this rigid bike, is the battery is detachable. You take the battery off. Okay, so if you wanted to just go out for a ride without the yeah, you can take power the battery. Well, you can take, you can power the battery up. You can have a spare battery if you wanted and just power that up at home, and always have one ready to go. Yeah. Um, you can. They're light enough to actually, if you were going on a really long journey, take another battery with you. Any spare battery is something you can do. Yeah, you can get a spare battery. Um, you know, um, this one plugs in there. And um, just in this bit here, and uh, yeah, you can take a spare battery to give you extra range, really. These brakes, these are great brakes because they've got a lot of leverage on those. Oh, yeah, so if you can see on there, there's stopping power, lots and lots of stopping power on that. Obviously, if uh, Mud guards aren't for everybody, so if you wanted to take the mud guards off. Well, they're definitely for me, I'll stay, you know, you get covered. <laughs> <laughs> if you wanted to take those off, you can adjust them up here as well. Yeah, if you want to. No problem at all. They're frangible, but if you caught yourself on them, they'd snap before yeah. they hurt you. Yeah. But again, all these things, we have accessories for all of them if we need them. 